the Sorolla phonograph. This is a little bit from the 1920s here. Not really sure how old it is. I'm guessing about uh, 1922, 23, around in there. It's an original machine. All I've done is put some gaskets in there and help the motor a little bit with some new grease and oil. And she's running pretty good. And we're going to test the record to see if I managed to get... Look at that. It spins right up. If I managed to get the reproducer correct. And there you have it, the Sorolla phonograph. As you can see, it's obviously a portable. And it has an interesting horn setup where basically the lid becomes the horn. As you can see, this is the horn. All you do, well, technically, the tone arm is the horn. Uh, we lost the camera there. There we go. That's the horn right there. Connects right in there. Has a little sounding board at that point. That's what the lid becomes. And you're all set. And when you're done with it, it stows. There we go. Right in the side there. Nice little hatch. You can hide it away. And it's a rather compact one, too. Considering how much larger the Victor Petrola 50 is, this is a good six or seven inches shorter and it plays loud as you can hear very nice uh, sound reproduction considering this is the original reproducer on there because these reproducers do have a habit being pot metal of falling apart in fact that's true for the entire tone arm 
This one though is in pretty good shape. And oh, I almost forgot. Some of you might have heard the term stick a sock in it from time to time when someone's mouthing off and wonder where that term came from. Well, these machines did not have volume control. So the only way you could really control the volume should you want to is to stick something in it. In this case, we have a handkerchief. This handkerchief is old and rather delicate, and I'm guessing it's been in there probably since the 20s or 30s. But I found it stuffed right up inside there to muffle the sound. Somebody might want to listen to it late at night or something and didn't want it to wake the whole house because it is actually kind of loud. So they actually did, did not a sock, but the hey, handkerchief works just as well, I guess. They stuck a hanky in it. Had me puzzled there for a bit because I didn't know why it was originally from the uh, before I built the reproducer. It really sounded muffled. I said, like, why the hell is it doing that? Well, they stuck a hanky in it. And there you go, the Sorola, the Sorola Phonograph Company.